three quick tips for success. The first one is to stand in the center of the room when taking your 360. The second is to take your time. You don't want any blurry sections in your image. And the third is to keep your phone vertical. And in a minute, I'll show you exactly what it looks like if you tilt your phone so you'll know if you're doing it correctly or incorrectly. To begin, click the yellow icon in the bottom right hand corner and select camera. You'll notice when you paint your picture, there'll be yellow dots around the screen. Paint up and down, right and left, following each yellow dot. Remain on that yellow dot until the image appears. It's important to stand in the center of the room and keep the phone vertical. If you tilt the camera, the dot will turn red. Please readjust and keep the phone vertical and continue. Your progress is recorded at the bottom check mark. You'll need to continue until your check mark turns green. If your check mark is still yellow and you feel you've completed your 360, take a look around and see if you can find the other yellow dots. Sometimes they're at the top or bottom of your image. By clicking on the green check mark, your 360 image will be patched together by the Google Street View app. This may take a minute or two. When it's done being published, go ahead and click on your 360 image. It will open up and you'll be able to preview your work. If everything looks good, at the bottom center, select Publish to Google Maps. You'll need to do this before you can share it with me. When it's done being published, please click on the share button and send it through email to d-o-u-g-h-e-4413 at gmail.com. It's important that the link you share says google.com slash maps and not picassoweb.google.com. Please double check this link. If it is the Picasso web, please discard your email and reshare and it should change the link to the google.com slash maps.